How's it going, David and Comic Book Investments? So, got some stuff back from CGC. Got a lot of Golden Age stuff, some more obscure titles that hopefully you're into. But yeah, so I guess let's get into it. I don't think... Oh, uh, I have weekly auctions now every single weekend. Every single Sunday, at, I think it's like 4 or 5 p.m. they end. Uh, check out the weekly auctions. They want, run all week long, and they end every Sunday. So we got, it's mostly, right now, it's just like mostly raw, a few graded books. Uh, we are accepting consignments for the weekly auctions. Give us like a couple more weeks to basically fine tune everything before we're going to start listing other people's consignments. Uh, right now, it's just basically our stuff. Like, if you don't know, we've been running weekly eBay auctions every single week for like 15 years. And so now we're just slowly porting those over. Um, and hopefully we'll just port them all over, hopefully in the next few handful of months. But yeah, we are accepting consignment. So if you don't want to wait for a featured auction, you know, which is every three months, then you can put it in this auction. These are generally week long. So if you have more premium items or high value items and you can wait and you want to wait, I would suggest to put those in the featured auctions, which we are accepting consignments for those as well. We got a bunch of stuff coming in, some AF-15s. Yes, multiple AF-15s. Uh, for this upcoming featured auction, a bunch of good stuff, a uh, bunch of high-end keys. And again, we're only 5%. That's right, 5%. No buyer's premium, none of that garbage. Just 5% seller fee, that's it. We also have a cap. Anything over 10 grand is capped at uh, a $500 fee. Uh, so if it's you know $15,000 it sells for, 500 bucks, that's our fee. If it's 50,000 it sells for, $500, that's our fee. So nowhere else has that. So let's get right into this video. I don't want to talk forever. You want to see comic books. So got a bunch of got a bunch of these in. First appearance of the Hobgoblin. All different grade ranges, even ones with the the tattoo missing. Tons of stuff. Uh, this one is a 9.4, but got a bunch of different grade ranges in. I thought it'd be a 9.2, got a 9.4, 409. Uh, also got a bunch. Remember how it was um, if you guys don't know, but I used to have a ton of Hulk 181s, been sending those out in giant size X-Men ones. Got the, a lot of the giant size back. Those have been flying off the shelf a lot faster than I thought they would. Uh, I basically sold three of those in the last, pretty much the last 24 hours alone. So those have been flying off the shelf. So um, I think we still have maybe like nine left of the giant size X-Men. We got a few more that are going to CGC, so still getting some back, but... Uh, yeah, they're flying off shelf. So I imagine when we get those Hulk 181s back, those are just going to fly right off the shelf as well. Not going to last long. Um, we price very competitive, which is another word of saying that we are fair. <laughs> also, we put all these books on our website, collectorscomics.com. So if you want to get a deal, go there first. They should be up. These are already up as you're watching this video. What is this? Howard the Duck number one. Thought it'd be 94, got 96, 189. Invaders, number one, and a 94. Thought it'd be 96, got 94, 125. Also got some exciting news coming up that I can't touch on too much, but uh, be around Comic Con. Some pretty exciting news. I'm very excited about what's going to happen in the next couple months. So stay tuned for that. First appearance of Const... Whoa. Let's notice something. That's a pretty big... Man. Not gonna lie. Has a little chip on the top. Don't know how this got a 9.4, but it did. Hmm. Interesting. I thought it'd be a 9.0. It got a 9.4. So hey, 3.39. Also, so you guys know how there's that 9.9 pre-screen, whatever. Basically, they're giving out more 9.9s. I can't remember the exact numbers, but I remember something. Someone had a graph showing that like all of last year of 2023, there was only like 600 and something nine nines graded. So far this year alone, six months in, we have like 13 or 14, uh, 1,400 nine nines graded already. So they're obviously grading more nine nines, which is good because you have no idea how many times I look at a book. I'm like, oh, this is a nine eight. And then I'll have another book. This is also a 9.8, both graded 9.8s, but I'm like, this one is objectively way nicer because they're so stingy about giving 9.9s. So I'm sending in a few books pretty soon that me and my brother both looked over and I'm like, these are objectively more nicer than any 9.8 that I've seen. So these better get a 
So that would be nice if I finally get some nine nines when they deserve them. Only if they deserve them. CGC purposely was not giving them out before. Now, hopefully, they will. Anyways, I got a bunch of Spider Woman, so I'm just showing you one. Which one is this? Number six. Nine eight. Uh, 259 came back great. I wanted. got a bunch of nine eights of some Spider Woman. Um, same with Star Wars, got some Star Wars nine eights. This is number eight. Um, I got more than this. This is not everything, so this is this one's I'm showcasing. Uh, that'd be nine six on nine eight, 239. Here's one Luke fighting Darth Vader. Uh, 199. And then here's kind of interesting one. This is a X Men '99, but it is a 30 cent price variant. So up here, it says 30 cents. Normally it would say 25 cents. I wonder if any of these. No, um, I was trying to see if I had any that had this little icon. So 30 cents. The reason why they did that instead of having 25 cents is, and the reason why this is rare, it's a 30 cent variant. So basically they just took a big marker, blocked it out, and put 30 cents there. Uh, I'll just give you the price. I thought it'd be seven. I got an eight oh three forty nine. Uh, vastly more expensive for the thirty cent than the normal twenty five cent. But what's even more expensive is the thirty five cent variant. So this is what they did. Marvel wa wanted to raise their prices, and so there are twenty five cents, and they wouldn't. They weren't sure how the market would adapt. So they sent for the thirty cent. They sent it out to multiple different uh, districts, areas, you know, states, and they changed it to thirty cents. It was more uh, based on distribution routes. I don't know. The people broke it down by state, but I don't remember them. I think it was up you near know, like St. Louis and Chicago and over there, I think. Uh, Philadelphia, stuff like that. Anyways, so they knew what the numbers would normally be through for the titles. They didn't do it on X-Men. They did it on like every title that they had, you know, whether it be Spider-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, X-Men, whatever it is. And normally 25 cents. And they changed it to 30 cents, and they saw if there was a price dip or not, and how the market would respond to now a five cent increase, which would have been a t from a 25 uh, 25 cent item before, is now a what 20 20 uh, percent increase, one fifth. Um, and so they wanted to see how the market would respond. So they did that. I think two issues. I think there was, depending on how your book was released, but I think they did it for a couple months and then they switched over to every comic being 30 cents shortly after, because what year is this? This is um, 76. So in 76, they raised it to 30 cents, which, you know, okay, you went up 20%. But then at the uh, tail end of 77, so just a year later, they raised it from 30 cents to 35 cents. And the 35 cent was actually in an even smaller amount of markets. Uh, in districts that the distributor would distribute to. So those are actually more rare. So this 30 cent goes, what book is this? 99. I think 98, 99, and 100 have 30 cent variants. But then I think it's 105, 106, and 107. Usually it's about three books if it's a regular series like this. I think we're 35 cent variants. Those are more rare because they have smaller test runs of them in different districts and those are more expensive but these are as well more expensive this is not as much 35 cent definitely most rare. the most rarest expensive 35 cent variants would be uh, star wars number one that was a 35 cent variant very expensive um and then uh iron fist 14 was a 35 cent variant very expensive those astronomically i i'm talking like 10 to 20x the normal one so, in case you have any 35 cent variants, I, I believe it, the 35 cent variants were 1977. I don't remember the months because they usually say the months on it. I can't remember. It's like, I don't know. I want to say like around late summer to fall. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up to be honest. But I know it's 77. All right. Here we go, Spider-Man 20, first appearance of the, the Scorpion. Um, what is this? Came back greater one, 319. Then we got the first appearance of Mary, uh, Mary, Mary Jane Watson. I was about to say Mary J. Blige. I don't know why. 
She's a singer. Uh, I thought it would be 7. I got 6, 5, 2, 99. And I was like, that's not right. Got a lot of golden age. So we're going to see a lot of golden age in this one. So Lady Luck, number 87. I also have an 86. It's not back yet from CGC, but um, so, which is the first issue, in case you didn't know. Came back great. I wanted uh, 2 99 So not sure much about Lady Luck. Not sure how many of you guys are Lady Luck collectors. I don't even know anything about her, so I couldn't tell you anything. Um, 89 is 6 99 Got this uh, Major Victory Comics number three. It doesn't even have the artist on the front. Like, they didn't, they didn't write in who it was. I was trying to look at the art. A lot of times these comics are, like, from obscure publishers, and they don't really know anything about them sometimes, especially the older ones. Um, that would be three. I got two, five, six, ninety-nine on this one. This one's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's a bunch of looks like fugitives running, and they're being blown away by the police, and they're full of bullet holes and blood everywhere. So, but this is Prize Comics. You wanna know who is famous that comes from Prize Comics? Good old Green Llama. You know, yes, Green Llama is from Prize Comics. I always, in case you don't know, I always make fun of the Green Llama, but he is from Prize Comics. I think Prize Comics number one or number seven is his first appearance. I can't remember which. And, uh, yeah. But he first appeared, the Green Llama first appeared in Double Detective Stories. I forget what number, but it was a more, kind of like a graphic novel, but it was, uh, it was called a pulp. He first appeared in there, then went to Prize Comics around the same time, got a radio show. He was a big deal, but you don't know who he is today. And, you know, that's that's always my point of the Green Llama. He was a big deal back in the day, but nothing now. So characters that you think are big deals right now might really not even exist in 10, 20, 30, 40 years' time. Because the Green Llama, basically, they tried to get a second radio show going. Never happened. He pretty much disappeared uh, before the 50s. So he was from the late 30s all the way up to the late 40s, and then done i think uh they revived him like alex ross revived him he liked to revive old golden age characters that fell into public domain so i believe green llama is in public domain so technically you out there could write a green llama comic book you could make a green llama movie whatever you owe rights to no one so if you want to revive old green llama you can do that uh i thought it'd be six five got a five five four ninety nine Ranger Comics, this is a good girl art, GGA, uh, $6.99. Showcase 30, first Aquaman tryout. This is his first Silver Age appearance and trying to get his own magazine off the ground. Um, thought it was 6 got 65 849 I don't know much about the Dolphin. I know the cover is a very attractive cover. I do like the cover. I like the, I think it's Nick Cardi. Is it Nick Cardi? Nope, it's J. Scott Pike. Oh, I don't even know who that is. Um, but a good cover, nonetheless. Cool colors. The girl is drawn nicely. Uh, this is Showcase 79. That would be 85, got 75, 349. Got this cool Tarzan cover where he's shooting a dinosaur in the eyeball. Yes, in the eyeball. That is, he is really good aim. Uh, this is Sparkler Comics number 39. Came back grade wanted. $9.99. And then we got a bunch of Superman comics. So I hope you like Superman Golden Age. Number 31. Um, six forty nine. Number 33. Let's see. Uh, I thought it would be 6-0. Got a 7-0. 9 What else we got here? 36. Another Mixelplex appearance. I thought it would be a 6 Got a 7-5. 11-99. Number... 
39. Got to be 5-5. Five, five. Got a 5-5. Five, five. 4 99. Oops. And then last on this list, number 42. Um, camera gray one, 5 99. Uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, check out the weekly auctions and have a great day.